Hold up. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean... How many men? Guns? Riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now. And you've only been running with us a few months. Are we going to rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. up on this ridge. Over there. He should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. 
Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah. Covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Stay luck! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done, same as you. Get things done. You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. Main thing now is getting this haul back in one piece. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! <laughs> What the hell? Come on, Arthur, get out of there! You dumb bastards! You okay? I think so.
not his yet. Every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscolls? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of, well, this little mess. Just thought you'd want the honor. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. <sighs> What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Easy now.
a westerly, so... Or is it an easterly? We're fine. We're fine. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Uh, Morgan. Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my... My nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Now you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. well. To me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of... Don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. Here's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back. Stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. Oh my. They don't seem to be fans of modern technology. On the other hand... Futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. this boy. 
Ouais. Easy, boy. Okay, fella. Some medicine. Better than nothing. Damn it, that won't help. Look at me. I'm bleeding out of here. Can't. Can't. Stay. I can't hold. I can't. Hold. 